Hey guys, it's JM. Today I'm going to walk you through installing and running Bladebit, which is the in-memory plotter. It's the fastest Chia plotter we have, and now it is built into the Chia application itself along with Mad Max in the latest release. If you saw, I did a video on showing off the GUI in Mad Max, um, but today I'm going to walk you through installing Bladebit in the CLI. So it's very slick. Um, so I, ha I have my server running here that I'm going to show you. I'm, obviously, you need a server to run Bladebit. Uh, this server has 512 uh, gigabytes of DDR4. Um, and so, yeah, you need a kind of high-end system to run Bladebit right now. In the future, there will be a version of Bladebit that can use disk. Uh, Harold, who I talk to very regularly, who now works at Chia, is working on it very diligently. But that's a topic for another day. Uh, so today, we are going to go uh, build. So if you just look at the Chia website and look at the installation method, um, you know, from building from source, this is the, the command line it's going to give you. Now, this dash branch latest is going to give you the latest official branch. Um, what we're going to do today is pull from main because uh, you know, the, 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 uh, these aren't released in the actual latest branch today. They will be very, very soon. So this is kind of like a beta build today. But uh, if you just do the git clone of the Chia network, uh, it'll just pull from main and then the recurse submodules is going to get all the submodules that we need. Uh, so this is just um, you know, standard installation on uh, you know on Linux. It's nothing uh, nothing fancy here. So we're gonna do the sh install dot sh. Oops. Oh, I uh, yeah, I'm, I'm not on top of it this morning. So uh, we are just going to install Chia real quick. And I put some throwaway keys on this system just to make this little video a little easier. So I don't have to be copy and pasting a contract address and pool address. But uh, so we're going to activate Chia init. And we're going to run this Chia fix permissions. Um, and if you do Chia keys show, you'll see I just have some random keys that I created on the system. So now what we're going to do is do Chia plotters and you can, this is the new command. Oops. If we do help, it'll show you, you can available as Chia POS, Mad Max, Playbit and install. So by default now they're packaged in there. So if you go to, if you want to run Mad Max, for instance, you could do Mad Max help and it'll give you all the commands. So today we are going to run Bladebit. So we're going to run Chia plotters Bladebit. And this is much easier than going and compiling uh, the different versions of Bladebit and building from source and everything. So it's awesome that it's just in the grid. So it's just super easy. Um, on my system, I just have uh, one SSD that I'm going to use as the destination drive as buffer. And um, so if you're running Bladebit uh, normally, you actually you know put the destination drive after the commands. But if you're running it from the Chia plotters, we're just going to do this dash help again and say, so by default, it automatically selects the maximum number of threads, which is what we want. We want the fastest plot time. Um, F for farmer, farmer key, P for pool key, C for contract address. It's the, the same as Mad Max. And that um, these are kind of for some testing, warm start. Uh, if you wanted to mess with the NUMA and optimizations, you can disable it there. And then dash D for final directory. So it's, it's very, very easy. You just do blabe it. Uh, and then I'm going to put this to my destination drive. Uh, and that's it. And we're going to watch this uh, run here for a couple minutes. Okay, we are back. And the plot is done. Uh, this plot took 359 seconds. Um, I'm trying to remember, I think we had got it down kind of even faster on this system, but uh, I mean, obviously that's insanely fast for a single plot. Um, if we look at, um, you know, the, that total output, it's like 86,400 seconds in a day divided by 359.29 seconds is, you know, 240 uh, plots per day. So that's uh, almost 26 terabytes a day. 
Uh, and so I built the system for just around 4,000 um, bucks. So you can definitely see that it's not, this isn't like some absurdly high-end system. It, it's, it's a pretty nice server. And I got a good deal on hunted down some of the components, which I'll talk about here in a little bit. But uh, first I wanna show you guys the Grafana dashboard. So um, this is really, not only is it super, um, you know, obviously fast at plotting, it, it's what, it's what six minute plot times we're getting. Um, you know, but this is right around 600 watts. Uh, and so that's actually very, very good for power efficiency. So I'm gonna go look at the last 15 minute time. So you can see here that CPU ramped up to 100% and then down, this is obviously the blade bit <laughs> uh, power. You can see it ramped up to about 600 watts. Um, oh, sorry, it's CPU. I'm blocking the CPU, but you can see the CPU ramped up to 100% and then down. The temps of my CPU got to right around uh, 80 at the peak. Um, not quite, uh, but yeah, this is running in my co-location. Um, and let's see what else. Uh, CPU frequency, this is a dual 26 core Xeon. And so right now the, the, each core is running at 3.4 gigahertz in turbo mode when they're all active. So that's very, very fast. Uh, what else? Um, you know, disk write. So you can see here, this is when it was writing the final uh, uh, <laughs> writing the final file to the destination. Um, you can kind of, we can take a little snapshot here and kind of peek down to this, my NVMe drive that was writing, which was, it looks like NVMe 3, and it wrote about 500 megabytes a second. So, oh, gosh, sorry, I am very bad today, blocking everybody on my, uh, uh, <laughs> with my video. Okay, so that's it. Um, so, Man, it's super easy. Bladebit is awesome. I'll, I'll share if you guys want to stop watching, that's fine. Uh, that's the end of the video. But I, I really wanted to just share with you a little bit about this system. Um, pseudo DMI Bico, uh, let me see. I think type one will give me the system. So this is my, what we call Wolf Pass. This is the Intel reference server. I love these because it's super easy to hook up a bunch of NVMe drives. Um, they just accept every version of CPU, whether it's ES, generic, whatever, the BIOS. It's very, very forgiving if you get cheap CPUs on eBay. Uh, it's super easy to update the BIOS. So um, I like these boards. Um, you can see kind of this is uh, the board I have. Now uh, the CPU um, is, uh, let's see. This is in uh, Xeon Platinum 8270CL. This, the, um, I think the L stands for large memory. So technically these support 1.5 terabytes of memory. Um, and I got these on eBay for uh, 800 bucks each uh, for 26 core CPU. So this is a very good deal. Um, you know, if you go look at like an AMD 32 core CPU, like a Threadripper, that's like 2000 bucks. So getting a 26 core CPU for 800 bucks, pretty good deal. Uh, and then I bought 512 gigabytes uh, of DDR4 um, these are ECC m modules running at, uh, let's see, I can't remember, pseudo DMI decode type 17. I think these are 2666 DIMMs. Um, yep, configured memory speed. Now, this CPU supports 2933, and if you're on an Ice Lake or an AMD, those support higher frequencies like 3200. Um, those actually help quite a bit for, um, blade bit because it, there's a lot of cpu frequency and a lot of memory sorting so you memory speed is greatly affects um the performance of blade bit so uh but yeah i i can't remember these are let's see 32 gigabyte dims um so i have 16 of them i believe i think that's right 32 times 16 512 yeah uh yeah and these uh can't remember 120 bucks each or something like that so yeah i i built the server for fun um and just kind of hunting down the, the cheapest parts I could get. I bought the barebone server for 800 bucks. I bought the CPUs for 800 bucks, and then I bought the DRAM. Uh, I mentioned for I think under 2,000 bucks. So overall, the system that can do you know 26 terabytes a day uh, with Playbit is pretty awesome. And uh, if anybody wants more details on the hardware, I'm happy to go and take some take some videos of it or something. But uh, I really wanted to show off how easy it is to run Playbit in the the CLI today with the new Chia plotters uh, and it's uh, it's been awesome and much thanks to Harold that, that wrote Blade Bit again uh, I, I I talk to Harold very frequently so it's it's been fun to work with him and uh, get it get a sense of how this thing actually works so all right thanks guys